just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Appreciate you coming out and supporting us. I uh, uh, hope uh, after Christmas we get uh, even larger crowds. And try to help build this program where it can be. I think you saw a lot uh, uh, of what we can be here. Uh, athletic Wings and, and CJ and uh, Rondell. West, he's just a bulldog on the ball. John got his shot back. You got to see a little bit of uh, him running the club and uh, the energy that he puts in it. And Pinaba just all around game. And then got a lot of chip ins from Jansen, who I was real proud of. I, you know, went extended minutes. Did a great job out there. And I think he's a freshman and he's just growing. He'll grow as the season goes along. Millen got in there, gave us good minutes. And then Pinaba gives you a story book line on love uh, he had uh, I think they told me three more assists that have been uh, what was that Wilbur? Second quadruple double in NCAA history. Second quadruple <laughs> double whatever <laughs> NCAA history. I think that means he's pretty good. So uh, they uh, uh, have a good ball club. The male kid is uh, he, he might end up in the league. He's good. And they had athletic wings, and they showed you that a couple of times. Got, we got dunked on where they came in behind it. The guard shoot the ball real well. So for us to uh, lead from end to end and keep a mar good margin, I was proud of that. We didn't let up. We let up in the past and let people back in on us. And uh, this time, we, I think defensively, this, this team is getting so much better. The, the runs by other teams are getting uh, negated a little bit. We can continue to do that. Offense and we can generate and create spurts. We can get away from people. Tonight we were able to do that. I'm proud of it. Thanks, Coach. We will now open it up for questions. Dan, this was uh, Rondell's first game here at home. I think folks got a little chance to see what he's all about. Yeah, I, I'm, you know, we, we've seen it in practice. And, uh, you know, he's athletic. He flies. And, uh, you know, it's worth the price of admission to just come watch him go up a few times for, for things. So, uh, you know, I'm happy for him. I'm, I'm glad he's back in West Virginia. We want to keep our West Virginia kids here. And it's a kind of a tribute to the coaches. Oh, Big Jim, if you're out there listening, you know, it's your boy. He's a quality athlete in West Virginia. We got quality guards, all of them West Virginians, and uh, play extremely well. You, uh, what did you, you do? Sorry. I, I, was not, I don't think this season yet you have mentioned athletic ball. Well, that's what we talked about. And I'm glad you brought that up. I should have said something about it. We talked about we were holding the ball, the ball was sticking too much. And what happens sometimes, especially when you've got point guards, and, but everybody's a point guard. So everybody thinks that they're handling the ball to set the play. To, but what we, what we want to play is all point guards, but they play like two guards. But they have a mentality and if we weren't throwing the early pass, and the early pass is what gets the athletic ball going. Because you throw the early pass, then it creates the next angle, next angle, next angle, until boom, you just pop a play on. And we, we talked about that in the last four days in practice. That we you gotta see people early. Can make the easy pass. Quit trying to make a great play and just make easy passes and the great play will follow. And I thought we did a pretty good job of that. What did you do to keep uh, Mayo from hurting you like you did last year? You know, I thought he hurt us. <laughs> you know, not, not as bad because we got the lead. I thought I thought offensively we negated him a lot. I don't know what he got. He got 19 points. So I thought offensively we, you know, his buckets weren't as big. Uh, when you're playing close and the game's close and then you go down and you get him the ball and you don't stop him, it's big. But there were plenty of times we didn't stop him, but we were so far ahead. It's like, okay, okay, we can absorb that. And I think they become more dramatic when uh, we're not stopping them other places. They are, we're not scoring like we should offensively. The game's tight. And those trying to stop him gets difficult. And uh, But we never got to that point. And, uh, so I don't know that we stopped him so much with 19 points, but uh, I do think we played an extremely good game. And the thing about this team that's probably different than the three teams in my past, the energy level of this team stays pretty high. We, we have drop-offs the last three years. And that's just a developing program and uh, people being around here for a while. And kind of everybody there you recruited, and they kind of understand how hard they have to play. And that's leadership from John and Pinnabon and CJ. 
and that they pull the wagon and they pull hard and when they do, others follow. Anything else? Fellas, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Thank you all very much. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.